Hello and a very warm welcome to LMT Royal YouTube channel. Special appearance from the Duchess. How stunning is the decor everyone? A surprise message from Meghan to contestant Archie Williams during the America's Got Talent finale was played. Archie was wrongly imprisoned for 36 years for a crime he did not commit. He was convicted of rape and attempted murder at 22. At the 12-year point of his prison sentence he reached out to the Innocence Project. His case was overturned due to advances in fingerprint technology. Archie's talent and story touched the hearts of many Americans. His singing kept him hopeful. On Wednesday evening, during an episode of popular US reality show America's Got Talent, the Duchess of Sussex popped up very unexpectedly on screen after one particularly stirring performance. The show this year has seen contestant Archie Williams soar, the extent of which goes a lot deeper than his performing talent. All through <laughs> this season, Archie, your story and your talent have touched and inspired people around the world. And we have a message for you from a very special fan, Megan, Duchess of Sussex. Take a look. Hi, Archie. I just wanted to let you know that we've been so moved by your story and we have been cheering you on every week. And it's not just because we're partial to the name. So a very special message to you um, that I will probably be saying all of my life, but on this night, it is specifically for you. Archie, we are proud of you and we are rooting for you, and we can't wait to see what you do. We're in your corner. Have a good night. Now, he's turned his story into one of incredible success as he takes the America's Got Talent stage by storm, and he's garnered quite the fan base for himself. Indeed, it seems Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are big fans of the singer, with Meghan even going so far as to send a special message to Archie after his performance. Sitting in a spacious room in her new Santa Barbara home, Megahan told him, We have been cheering you on every week, and it's not just because we're partial to the name. She continued, Archie, we are proud of you, we're rooting for you, we can't wait to see what you do, and we're in your corner. Megan wore a chic camel-colored shirt with her hair pulled back into a loose updo. She also wore leather-look trousers to finish the ensemble, yet another fashion slam dunk from the Duchess. Like her outfit, the interior decor in the background of the shot looks just as chic. A vase of greenery is seen behind her, along with a candle from cult brand Diptyke and a pile of books, including The Black Godfather and Large Hardback. Women. A set of three artworks also line the wall behind her. This is the second appearance made by the Duchess in the last 24 hours. Yesterday, she and Prince Harry appeared in Time Magazine's historic 100 Most Influential People Live broadcast. The Duke and Duchess made a rare political statement, urging people to vote, and why the feat was more important than ever this year. Every four years, we're told, this is the most important election of our lifetime. But this one is. When we vote, our values are put into action, and our voices are heard. Harry also put in his dissents, telling watchers that while he himself would be unable to vote, and had also never been able to vote in the UK given his royal status, this election was more important than ever. He said, This election, I'm not going to be able to vote in the US, and many of you may not know that I haven't been able to vote in the UK my entire life. As we approach this November, it's vital we reject hate speech, misinformation, and online negativity. Another analysis. Did Meghan Markle help the authors of Finding Freedom write about her and Prince Harry's private lives? Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex's lives have been interesting fans for years but unfortunately, the royal family is typically very private with their personal lives. The royals rarely let people in to see what goes on behind the scenes. So, when Finding Freedom, Harry, Meghan and the making of a modern royal family came out with so many details about the Sussexes, people began to wonder if the royals had a hand in the making of the book. Finding Freedom Finding Freedom by royal experts Amit Scabi and Carolyn Durand came out in August but even before the book was officially released, people were impressed at just how much information about the Duke and Duchess was revealed in the biography. Representatives for the couple shot down any accusations that the royal pair helped in the creation of the book. A spokesperson said, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were not interviewed and did not contribute to Finding Freedom. This book is based on the author's own experiences as members of the royal press corps and their own independent reporting. But now, it seems that that might not actually be the case. Did Meghan have anything to do with Finding Freedom? Meghan is involved in a legal battle where she is suing Mail on Sunday for their publishing of parts of a private letter she sent to her father Thomas Markle. She has claimed that the newspaper breached her privacy. Now, the publisher's lawyers are claiming that Meghan breached her own privacy by contributing to Finding Freedom. Though Meghan has denied helping with the book, Antony White QC said at the preliminary hearing that the book gives every appearance of having been written with their extensive cooperation. He said, 
The book contains a great deal of detailed information about Megan's personal life, including a number of passages referring to her relationship and communications with her father, and a section referring to the letter which is at the heart of the case. Megan's lawyers have continuously denied these claims and assert that the references to the letter published in the book are actually taken from the article published by Mail on Sunday. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not like you wait any longer. Let's start the story. Meghan Markle moved back to the US because of the 2020 election, Gloria Steinem reveals. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and her husband, Prince Harry, announced their decision to step down as senior royals earlier this year. A few months later, the couple moved to Southern California, where Meghan is originally from. While many people believe Meghan's main motive for moving back to the U.S. involves her fraught relationship with the British press and her desire to be close to Hollywood. Gloria Steinem is now revealing that the upcoming election has something to do with it as well. Meghan Markle has spoken out more about politics ever since she left the royal family. Royals are typically barred from being involved in politics. They neither speak out about political issues nor vote in elections. Before joining the royal family, Meghan was vocal about politics, though she remained quiet after marrying Harry. After the Sussexes distanced themselves from the royal family, Meghan dipped her toes into American politics again, mostly by encouraging people to vote. In August, Meghan attended an online event called When All Women Vote Couch Party, and she talked about the importance of voting. Although Meghan did not express support for any political party, her involvement in the event stirred up criticism since many folks still expected her to remain out of politics as much as possible. Gloria Steinem says Meghan Markle moved back to the US partly because of the upcoming election. In her mission to get more Americans to vote, Meghan has also teamed up with feminist leader Gloria Steinem. In August, the two of them met for a backyard chat, where they talked more about voting. Now Steinem is opening up about her experience working with Meghan. She reveals to Access Hollywood that Meghan came home to vote, and that the two of them cold-called voters together. Steinem shares, The first thing we did, and why she came to see me, was we sat at the dining room table where I am right now and we cold-called voters. She said, Hello, I'm Meghan, and hello, I'm Gloria. And are you going to vote? That was her initiative. Meghan Markle reportedly has political ambitions. After Meghan moved back to the US, some onlookers have also questioned whether she has intentions of working in politics in the future. This wouldn't be a far-fetched idea. After all, Meghan studied international relations at Northwestern University and even took on an internship at the US Embassy in Buenos Aires, Argentina. In 2013, three years before meeting Harry, she told Marie Claire, I had always loved politics, so I ended up changing my major completely and double majoring in theater and international relations. I thought for sure I would still have a career in politics. Meanwhile, royal author Lady Colin Campbell revealed that, allegedly, Meghan could even consider running for president. Campbell shared, I know the Duchess of Sussex has political ambitions and I've been told that one day she wants to run for president. I think everything she is doing, leaving the royal family and moving back to California is part of her plan and she has taken Harry along with her. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus even more LMT royal videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell, so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.